Hi there, this is Danae. As many of you know, I'm a mom, a therapist, a host of the Simple Families podcast, and I'm all about healthy solutions for child behavior, positive parenting, family wellness, and decreasing the mental load. So as a part of the Cloud 10 and iHeartRadio podcast network, I'm excited to introduce you to a show called The Whole View. This podcast helps listeners find happiness and health inside and out from a holistic view. So I thought I'd play a little snippet from their show. Host Stacey Toth talks about topics like the importance of getting enough sleep, prioritizing mental health, and the hidden toxins in personal care products. You can listen to The Whole View by clicking on the link in the episode description. Plus, the show is available wherever you get your podcasts. Welcome to The Whole View. I'm Stacey Toth of Real Everything. I'm here each week to dive deeper into how we can find happiness and health inside and out through self-love, body positivity, and discovering new ways to be our best selves. This week on the podcast, we have Jessica of The Loving Diet. Welcome, Jessica, to The Whole View. Thank you. Hi, Stacy. It's great to be here. You are no newbie to clinical nutrition. Going back to the late 1900s, <laughs> and anytime I see like 1990 anything, I'm like, oh gosh. So 25 years. In other words, you've focused on functional nutrition and look through the lens of root cause. And of course, over that time, your practice has evolved to align with more current published clinical research. Again, kudos, high five. We appreciate all these things. Right now I'm at Stanford and I'm in the, their compassion certification program. And I was able to run my own study of how self-compassion helps with eating disorders. And because I'm a nutritionist, because I wrote the book, The Loving Diet, because of so many people struggling and I couldn't find a program for disordered eating from people who are recovering from restricted diets. And so I created one. That's been like the difficulty that I've had in this gray area in the space between anti-diet and, you know, following your own intuition in terms of like listening to your body. I don't, I don't want to call it any sort of like protocol or prescription or do this or don't do that because it's not as simple as like do this thing and follow these rules. It really, really is about people needing to get to the root of their own things and then find what works for them. And unfortunately, we can't bottle that. Unfortunately, we can't sell that prescription. There's a lot of people trying to listen to their body and your stress goes up and listening to your body, which is what's called introceptive awareness, is shifted. So it actually becomes almost impossible for people who are highly traumatized have a high A score, maybe have PTSD from their doctor's interactions, that their introceptive awareness, their ability to interpret accurately signals in their body goes down. So we have a whole bunch of people trying the best they can to do a certain way of eating properly, and they don't know how to interpret the signals correctly. And it's not because they did anything wrong. Now we have hundreds and hundreds of studies that look at orthorexia, that look at what happens when people go on restricted diets, how a high A score is related to low introceptive awareness. And that's the part when I was struggling personally, that research wasn't invented yet, but now people started to do studies and it's all published. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you'll check out the whole view.